Good afternoon, everyone. My name is John Lira, and I will talk about Informatica's Data Director, part of their Master Data Management Solution. Very small topic here, how to set up the IDD to call a cleansing function that's in the NDM Hub, and also to set it up so that it reports any validation errors by configuring the validation status output port. Well, let's go on to the demo now. So what I have is firstly an IDD from an end user perspective. Let me just show you the problem that we're trying to solve. When we enter new data into as an end user in IDD, I'm going to enter new, a new person right here. And this is the subject area. And this is the problem that we're trying to solve. You have a first name and last name. And you should enter both of them. However, if by chance you forget to enter a first name, or it's not in the right format, we can call a cleanse function that was created in the MDM Hub, which is that's the purpose of this lecture. So when I click Apply, notice that there's a validation error. And when I hover over it, it says first name must not be empty. So let's see how we, how we got there. Number one. To do this, we have to go to the NDM Hub, and we go to the list of cleanse functions. The cleanse function that I'm going to look at at the moment is under uh, a folder called IDD training functions, and it's the person. Let's go look at its graph. It can be any cleanse function. This just happens to be one that I created that appears to look like a graph or a mapping. Now, the part of the code that you want to focus on is really the is string empty. Oops, I let me get a require a log so that I can edit this. This one is string empty. If it is, choose true or false and set the error message. So again, the, the number one requirement is on the outputs. So when you double click and edit this, you must include one of the outputs that, that is named validation status. It must be validation status, and that's what I have a type string. That's a requirement. Now you can put whatever logic you want. Mine simply will test if the string is empty. If it is, produces the Boolean true. If it is true, this is the message I want to set. There are two types of messages that we can configure. This one here that I'm moving around, notice it has a certain syntax. First name dot must have first name. The must have first name can be called anything. It will be used in the messages bundle of the application to find a more appropriate message. The other type is this one here that it's unlinked right now, but I'll come back and apply that after we do the first demo. Now, you have to make sure that you link the validation uh, status. That's the message that will be connected with IDD. So after you make all these changes, you've got to save them. You have to go to Metadata Manager, and you have to go ahead and validate. Otherwise, in, otherwise IDD will say you're out of sync. But I've already done that, so let's minimize this. We're going to log in to the IDD application now. So I need to go to IDD config, not as an end user, but as a configurator, so that I can show you after you modify the cleanse function what we have to do. Okay, you log in as admin, admin, and now I am in the config option as a configurator, not as an end user. And we have an application. We edit the application. And what you have here is the subject areas, as you know. And we're going to set up person. We edit it. And as soon as we edit it, the only thing we have to do is go to the cleanse area. And notice the function that it's calling. It's in the library IDD training. The function that we modified is IDD person name. You have to assign the fields on the left hand side coming in and the fields on the right hand side coming out. And notice the what's really new to us is validation status. Just leave it blank. You save it, which was already saved. I could have just run this. And now all I've got to do is execute it as an end user. And that will then show the error that I have. The only thing missing is how I modify 
the messages bundle file. So I will show you that in a second. You log in as an end user. And while this is logging in, let me describe what, what we should have done in the app. Remember that you can export or import. So we can export or import an application. I've already exported this one so that I can modify the messages file. The process of importing and exporting, that's a whole different video that you'll see soon. But I just want to make sure you understood that. Now I go back as an end user. I will enter data. And this is where we started this demo. And it is a new person. And again, if I enter last name, because that's required to the first one, if I do not enter anything, it generates the validation error and the floating help, uh, the floating error message. First name must not be entered. Where is that coming from? Simply, you go to the application where the message bundle is. Here is my application, already exported. Unzipped, you end up with the message bundles. It is simply a text file. I scroll, I edit it, and I go at the end. Again, it's pretty much free format, and I added these two lines. The first one is a comment saying first name dot must have first name validation error. And the other one, notice that it has validation underscore, and then the name or the key that I used in the cleanse function. And here's the message. First name must not be used. So that is one in which we have to modify it. Now, let me not modify it. Sometimes it's faster. You don't have to modify the messages. Let's redesign this application. I need to go back to the hub. First of all, let me exit these since I, I need to come back later on. First, I go to the hub. The cleanse function is open. I'm merely going to unlink the one that requires the message messages bundle to the modified. This one, pretty much free form. Whatever you see here is what's going to be displayed. You save it. Okay, and this time I do have to go to Metadata Manager and I do have to validate my ORS that I'm using. Otherwise, IDD will detect that it's going to change and say that I can't run the application without validating the ORS that it's bound to. So, just a few seconds, it'll go ahead and validate this. Once it's validated, all I have to do is minimize this. Now I go back to IDD config. What I need to do in this case is redeploy the application. So all I all I do is go redeploy. I'm not going to change the messages bundle file. I don't need it because I changed the logic. And let's run it and see what happens. I may have to come and validate, which I didn't do right now. But I let's see. Should be should be good enough. So, admin, one thing I forgot to mention is that when you change any of the files that make up the application, like the messages bundle, you've got to import it. So I skipped that step because I had already done that. So now, let's see if it works. Notice this is no longer going to use the messages file. So I go ahead and enter a new person. As before, again, I'm going to enter a last name. And I'm going to leave first name empty. That's what we're testing. And there it is. Validation. That's the keyword underscore. First name cannot be empty. Notice I cannot hover anymore. Why? Because this message text from the cleanseless function is no longer connected to the message file. And just to summarize, the way that it was done is in the cleanseless, func cleanseless function. Let me just end with that. You end up with this. Notice there it is. To use the messages, you really have to follow the syntax. Okay. Well, that's it. Now you know how to add validation to your IDD. My name is John Vera, and I hope you subscribe, and we'll see you soon for another video.